Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to be looking at a interesting OS called Endless. This is Endless OS, and this is version 5.0. And it is a derivation of Debian. And so uh, let's talk about that for a minute. It, I mean, I know you're going, oh, no, not Debian. It's going to be way out of date. No. So let's talk about it first. So the first of all, it was released January the 27th, 2023 to their internal users. That is the users that already have it installed. And then it rolled out to the rest of us yesterday, February 8th of 2023. It, yes, it is based on Debian 11 bullseye, but it comes with an updated application base because they're not using 5.10 uh, they're using 5.15 for the kernel, and they're not using GNOME 40. They're using GNOME 41.3. Also, the, uh, there is OS Tree in here, and so I'm thinking this might be immutable. The applications are made available from a redesigned application, and they do rely on flat packs. So that's, that's a clue right there. Uh, it is designed to work in DIL network environments. DIL is disconnected, intermittent, and limited. It used to mean that you know that it was having issues with uh, maybe it was low bandwidth or something like that. But today, most people refer to it as limited network environments. So you can operate with the computer offline. So if you're in an area where uh, your network connections are spotty or not reliable you can still continue to work and, and continue to do things with it. So information is completely self-contained. So once you install Endless OS, uh, if you take the full releases, you have all of the application base uh, that they recommend that you have, uh, and that allows you to use your system for longer periods, even when you're not connect able to connect. So it's designed for use uh, for anyone. So it's meant for families and kids and people that are trying to learn new skills in the uh, information technology space, whether you want to be a developer, whether you want to work on Internet of Things, or whether you're just trying to pick up some math skills, or maybe you're trying to learn something about uh, maybe some other area like science or physics and something like that. Uh, there are lessons in there for all ages. Uh, they do support uh, the x86-64 environment, Intel or AMD. You can also run this on Raspberry Pi, and they also support uh, Pine 64's Pinebook laptop computers. So, uh, yeah, you can you can get into some really low cost uh, machines if you can get a Raspberry Pi uh, in order to do that. So the systems are is available in multiple languages, and and so are the lessons. It's available in English, Portuguese, uh, Spanish, and French. And there's uh, also, you, you, you don't have to have a machine of your own. So uh, if you don't have your own machine, you can, there is a rent-to-own program that is run by the uh, Endless Foundation where you can buy an Asus laptop for $50 down and then pay 30 bucks a month. They will send you a key to continue using it month by month. If you do reach the end of the term, the ACS laptop is yours. If that's still too expensive, you can purchase an endless key which has 75 gigabytes of lessons on it, and you can plug that into a standard computer and get to work with it. So uh, I don't have one set up here to look at because my hardware right now is a little limited for x86. But you can also provide your own USB key, and they recommend using a 128 gigabyte uh, USB uh, key to do that. I did run into some issues with Wayland. Wayland is the default uh, uh, environment for this, and I did run into my usual issues trying to go to higher resolutions like 1920 by 1080. It just froze. Seems to work fine on lower resolution monitors, 1280. 1490 uh, and so forth. Those all seem to work. The install process is po is very polished, has very clear instructions. It's easy to follow. So it shouldn't take you very long to get going at all. I think probably the best thing to do right now is just take a walkthrough. I'm not going to show the installation process. It's very trivial. 
uh, it, there's not really much to it. Once you've downloaded, once you've reached and got the download and or, and have burned it onto um, either a USB stick or something that you can then load from, you can use the USB stick as a live environment, or you can you can install it on the hard drive of the machine. So it's pretty typical in that respect. So let's let's do a little walkthrough and and see how it works. What I, I want to look at today is this is an unusual layout, as you can see. Uh, instead of having to push buttons and get our applications list up, they're shown on the desktop. And, you know, we have kind of a typical, uh, you know, like Nautilus. We have all those kinds of things. But then there are some special places like this one, which is called the Hacker Clubhouse. And in here, there are some lessons around computer systems. So if uh, you're trying to gain skills with both Linux, like you want to understand maybe the internals better, or you want to learn a programming language, or maybe you just want to learn how to play games and do artwork and do web stuff, uh, web development, you can, you can, those training paths are here for you. Uh, and they use these little caricatures to kind of step you through. They will perform some of the tasks for you, but they will also allow you to go do those on your own, and they'll wait for those to complete before moving on to the next step. This one is is a, a maker side where you can use you know your your machines to do activities to build hardware and, and Arduino projects and that IoT type of things. There's uh, it, it's it's kind of nice that you know I mean I'm not a I mean my background is I started out in computer aided instruction so this is kind of near and dear to where I started in this business uh, I'm not real big on page turners and this is is not it is interactive so you have these characters that you're interacting with uh, they will talk you through the steps get you on down the road, but there is more formalized training available and we'll look at that in a in a in right after this. So yeah, you can see that some of the topic areas like under the web, it it can get it it gets pretty advanced. Uh but then there are these other areas where you can go in and do specific kinds of things like program an Arduino or go in and learn how to do CSS for web development. And there's a number of lessons here to get you started all the way up to advanced. There's uh, also HTML tutorials to give you the basics about how to do that and then how to do better content, how to build up better content with it. Uh, and uh, let's see, there's also an encyclopedia that's online. This kind of reminds me a little bit of back when Microsoft packaged uh, their encyclopedia on a on a DVD, and then you could just put that in, and then you had kind of information at your fingertips. Back in the days of dial-up modems when it took forever to transfer information, but yeah. Uh, this is just a page-turner kind of thing, but uh, yeah, so... You also have stories where you can go back and look at myths and legends, uh, whether they occurred in Africa or the Americas or Asia, Europe. Uh, there's even horror stories, and I, I went down to see if Willow the Wisp was listed, and sure enough, it was. So and that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, they do have some other things. There's also some reported light locations where they have been sighted in real life before. There's also information about things like sanitation of water and how to, you know, how to do various things like clean and sterilize your tools and cleansing uh, the, the water itself, what black water and gray water is. Also, there's information about cooking and recipes and how to cook healthy for yourself. And, uh, yeah, there's some basic techniques here. I mean, like how to bake a potato in a microwave without having it explode. <laughs> that's, that's always a good idea uh, if, you're, if you're learning for the first time uh, and forget to uh, uh, poke holes in the skin. <laughs> that has been known to happen. Uh, there's uh, Also, they're using the latest versions of LibreOffice 
as you can see from the new icon set. I think they're trying really hard to, to bring some of the uh, UI experiences up a lot. There's also, you know, some, some basic games here that you can play. Um, there's also, you have some creative tools available to you, kind of. And, they're, and they also, like Blender, they also include a tutorial for Blender in there as well. Then there's, you know, you know kind of the basic hygiene for keeping care of your teeth and the kinds of things that you would expect families to be teaching their, their children. Uh, also, you know, there's health guidelines and first aid. Uh, there's also, let's see, um, I think budget where you can go in and learn how to create a budget on your own. There's a PDF file that will guide you through that, as well as the tools to do it. And then you can get into these how-tos for art and entertainment and sports and finance, uh, where you can, you know, like uh, adjust your digital camera's white balance. And I noticed he didn't quite... Yeah, it was a little green on the right, but it looks better. To me, it looks better white balance on the left. So, yeah, he did manage to do that, or she. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's always kind of a tricky thing to do sometimes. And there's more. So you do have these windows, uh, or the, excuse me, these workspaces that you can, you can use. Uh, but then you also have the more applications as you scroll across. So you have things like so you have things like math, and you also have things like advanced math, like calculus and so forth, that you can study, if you want to learn that. Uh, there's also science and and other areas in here as well. So, I mean, my impressions of this, it's I mean, it's very good, and yeah, I I think it's worth a try, especially if you have uh, children or maybe you're trying to learn a skill on your own to give it a try. So you may find some of the lessons uh, maybe a little bit to lower level maybe. The lesson plans here do span a pretty wide gap uh, from, you know, K through K through 12 and probably a little bit of collegiate as well. But like I said, if you're trying to learn a skill, you want to learn how to program or you want to learn how to do web uh, development, those, those are definitely all here. And then I noticed that there was one lesson uh, for turtles, called, and that kind of reminds me of Logo a little bit in that you're trying to move a turtle around the screen. The turtle leaves a path, and then you can use the turtle to draw uh, objects on the screen so and interact with those. Endless OS, and I hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you all again real soon. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Hope to see you again soon, and bye for now.